Hi guys, in this video we are going to learn about HTML flash, video and audio. So I have my HTML page and then I have this live server running. I have an audio file, a flash bird.swf and video. You can just get the audio video. Flash is not used now. So I'm just going to show flash as an example. So then we're going to just set up our HTML page. Then we're going to keep the title as flash video. And here we are going to learn. We're, I mean, we're going to keep amp for ampersand. This is the correct way. And audio. So if we refresh, we got flash video and audio. So like flash is no longer in use now. When very less browsers accept it. Google, we have to keep some settings to accept it. So now, in the, this is when you learn, when we, when I start my JavaScript course, you will understand this better. So like what I'm typing now, script. So then, like script is basically to add, a javascript to our page so we can add javascript like with the script tag and then we can we have to give type is equal text slash javascript and then here src HTTP colon slash 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 ajax dot google dot com not not google dot com google apis dot com slash ajax slash libs slash swf object so we are just trying to basically get a like a package swf object dot js yeah so we just got this in another script type text slash javascript now swf object dot m bed so if you want you can just get whatever swf file that's why we got this to get this swf embed swf flash slash bird dot swf and we have to give some parameters bird so we're going to target the div call bird 300 8.0.0 and then here and then here div id is bird so then we can give p this this is a flash animation of a bird so this is going to come so you click on this i info icon and change flash to allow okay then reload okay wait so we just go to site settings click on flash just set to allow okay wait let me just check if everything is right yeah so if for you guys if it's coming tell me but for me it's not coming because this flash is not in use so what i'm not able to just get it if you guys get it just tell me okay in the comments below 
I'm just trying one last time. Yeah, so for me it's not coming. So this shows it is not as much like usable. So it's not that much usable. So now let's go on to the video. So we just simply use the video tag. No need of any JavaScript. SRC is equal to video slash puppy dot mp4 yeah if you have a like in youtube thumbnail you can keep that if you want but i don't have any image width 400 height 300 preload we just give it like that and control so you can control it Wait, without the controls, you just see how it's going to look. Just a big black box. Controls. So, to tell we have, we can be able to control it. Like that. And then, loop. So, for example, whenever it is, sorry. Let us just go to the end. So now, whenever it's over, it will automatically loop the video then you so this is the video you can add uh, like audio player adding html5 audio this is in html5 it came audio and video tags audio slash audio dot mp3 controls auto play so whenever it loads, it's gonna auto play. This this contains what I said in the start of the video. So now, hi guys. In this video, so like that you can control it. If you want, you can increase the sound or remove the sound. And then there are some other options. You can download the file if you want. So if you want, you can give multiple sources of the same video. Yeah. And so guys, this is the last video in the HTML course. I hope you have learned a lot. Please tell me in the comments below what did you learn in the full course. And if you are going to use anything you learned in this course so in the the next course is going to be about css as html and css are related so with css i'll just give a basic introduction of css css is basically used to make the html look better okay so you, if you want you can make this p tag come in a blue color or white color with CSS if you want you can make it bigger smaller so this is just the exact the basics of CSS but with if you learn CSS you can do many awesome things with it yeah so this is it guys in the next video we are going to start the CSS course bye guys